hey guys so welcome back to another video in this video we are going to talk about spinners in android uh, so basically spinner in android is uh, what we can call drop down menu in web development or in any other field so basically uh, we're just gonna see how we can create a drop down menu in android so without wasting time let's get started so first of all i'm just going to uh, remove this radio group from the screen because we really don't need it anymore then this check box is too i'm gonna keep uh, this button and text to as it is so let's just uh, take a widget spinner and i'm gonna keep the width uh, for as match pattern and height will be wrap content id i'll give uh, spinner then uh, I'll give padding of 10 dp and then uh, we'll need to give some constraint so horizontal in pattern from both sides and I'll also give margin right of 32 dp and margin left of 32 dp and then uh, for the top constraint i'm gonna give it to the parent and i'll just drag it down a little bit below yeah so margin top will be 188 so let's keep it 190 a zero figure okay okay i guess 190 will be a little too much so let's just keep it 100 dp all right so we have widget uh, spinner widget on our screen now so go to main activity dot kt and let's just remove this uh, variables of radio group and checkbox because we don't really need them anymore and then let's create another variable <coughs> sorry of spinner of type spinner um, that should be one e not two and find view by id r dot id dot spinner that means let's remove this piece of code as well all right now we don't need it to do anything with button so to show something in the spinner uh, in the list will be first need a list right so let's just create a list well uh, i'll just create a list of car which will uh, okay uh, i don't think i have talked about list in the uh, kotlin basics video i uh, uh, although i've talked about arrays and how to create an array so in array we create we use array of so same way to create a list we can use list of and we'll give the type of string because we'll it, it will be a list of strings so first car will be bmw second will be uh, lamborghini and third will be bugatti okay so yeah we have a list now and we also can uh, take an array list uh, to create an array list where we can uh, uh do something like this first instantiate an array list of type string and then you can add elements in array list by using array list dot add then bmw then again uh repeat the same and uh, you will add elements in array list like this but we are gonna create uh are we gonna go with a list so now we need to create an array adapter so let me take a variable array adapter equals to array adapter and in parameter first parameter will be context so we'll give this which will refer to the main activity and the second parameter we will have to give android dot r dot layout 
and there is a specific layout for a adapter uh, in Android so which is simple spinner item and as the last parameter we pass this list that we created now uh, we call a method on this adapter uh, array adapter dot set drop down resources drop down view resources and in this method we have to give a parameter which is android sorry android dot r dot layout dot simple spinner drop down item now we just have to set this array adapter to our spinner so let's just take spinner dot adapter equals to array adapter now uh, it will show everything that is in our uh, spinner so let's just see how it uh, shows us on the screen let's run our application yeah so we can see uh, in our on our screen uh, we can see this spinner which uh, a drop down menu uh, which has these three elements that we create in our list so now suppose i want to see see the, see the selection that we have uh suppose i select lamborghini and i want to set the text on our text view so let's see how we can do that so uh yeah and again uh if i select uh, something from the list and i click on this button and then it will uh show that text on this text view uh we uh, make that functionality right uh, so uh, as you can see I, I have created a global variable string here and I instantiate uh, initialize this uh, with the null string so uh, now uh, we have to call uh, an anonymous uh, function on spinner uh, so let's do that first spinner dot on item selected listener which will be the anonymous function so object and uh, adapter view dot on item selected listener and now if we just go to this red line and press alt enter and implement methods so we'll need these two methods to be implemented inside it so we have to this two method on item selected and on nothing selected we don't need this item <coughs> i'm sorry we don't need this uh, method so we are not gonna do anything with this but we are gonna focus on this on item selected uh, method so we want to uh, to catch whatever we select uh, what catch whatever the item we select and convert that into the string right so to do that we have a parent here so we can use that so we can write parent which is you can see a nullable so we have to uh, write this question mark as well parent dot get item at position and we have this position in integer as well so we'll pass this position in here if we if uh, it's not position uh, it might be uh, written something else in your uh, version of the code so don't uh, confuse with that uh, just uh, take this integer value whatever variable is written here so yeah now this will uh, give us whatever uh, we select from the list uh, from the drop down menu but still we have to convert that to a string to assign this to uh the variable s so as we can see if we assign it directly it will give us an error so to convert that to string we'll use to string method now we have selected uh, element uh whatever we have selected from the list or uh, from the drop down menu we have that element in our s variable so we'll uh, go to the button on click listener and we'll set text view dot set uh so dot text equals to this s variables let me just reformat this a bit so yeah 
text with our text and we pass this as here so now let's run our application and see how it works okay so our app is run now if i select something from the list let me select the lamborghini it's my favorite car by the way it's my dream car and let's click on this button and we'll see uh the text view is converted into lamborghini now if i select bugatti it will give us bugatti if i select bmw it will give us bmw so yeah basically that's how you create a uh, drop down menu and uh, uh, you can perform actions of selected uh, actions with selected items in it so yeah that's it for this video i'll see you guys in the next video